Welcome inside my shop. Out of all the things that I got going on in my shop here, one of my favorites is sandblasting. Um, I used to get into the, the glass, but mostly it's the rocks and piles and so on and so forth like that. But anyway, um, let's go and take a look at uh, see what I got going on. At the heart of all of this is the 40 pound pressure pot. I currently lay and running 180 grit uh, aluminum oxide. Um, I tend to like that a little bit better for the rocks versus uh, the silicone carbide. I have both, but uh, the silicone carbide is really good for glass. But as far as the rocks are concerned, I'm sticking with the AL. Anyway, I'll set my pressure pot up to around um, 50 PSI depending on what I'm blasting. And then basically all I need to do is plug in my air, goes through the pressure pot, it starts putting up, building up the pressure a little bit. And once it gets up to my designated 50 PSI, then I can get inside the cabinet and start pressure or start blasting away on that. One of the first steps, of course, is having something that you're going to sandblast on. And then the second thing is, of course, your design, which will go on here. And then once I've got it in the computer, I'll send it over to my plotter and I'll get it cut up. I can apply the stencil and then we'll go ahead and throw it on in the uh, sandblast cabin. Now that I've got the design on the computer, we'll go ahead and get it set on over to the plotter here and get this thing fired up. I've had this since about 2004, and here it is 2021, but uh, it's been a good machine. I've cut a lot of vinyl, made a lot of signs. Now that the plotter's done her job, we'll go ahead and pull this on out. The stencil's right about in there. I'll take that on over, get the transfer tape put on it, and I'll get it transferred on over to my uh, piece of tile here. Use what's called a hinge method on this. Now that I've got it masked up, taped up, and all ready to go, we'll go ahead and get it into the uh, cabinet. There's, i got two different ways to do this. One is the, the side, which is what comes from the factory. You can open it up, put it in that way. But generally, because I've got so much crap sitting up over here, um, I put hinges up here on this one so that I can um, take the stuff and stick it in and out. Just makes it a whole lot easier. Just on a side note, one of the other things I do is I take my rings and anything else I might be wearing, I take those off. Sometimes I wear gloves. In general, I don't. All right, so I'll go ahead and hook up the airline and reset the camera and 
we'll get this thing blasted. After we blast it, we'll get it painted, get it cleaned up, and we'll be good to go. Once I fire up my shop vac, which is back in that corner there, and I use that as the, um, uh, you know, it takes all the dust out so that you can see a little bit easier in here. And uh, this is my PAB gun. I've used it uh, specifically or exclusively over the years. I've never used a siphon system. I've always used a PAB and uh, the pressure prod. But you won't be able to hear me, so I'll go ahead and get this thing going here and uh, we'll get it blasted. Do a quick brush on it. Looks pretty good. It's not very deep, it's just travertine. So, being for demonstration purposes and what I'm trying to achieve here, uh, it should turn out pretty good. So, let's take it outside and we'll get it painted. So, I hope that you found some sort of use out of this video. Here's the final product. I was going to do this last week, but uh, I ended up with COVID voice. Yeah, I'm going to change all that. This will be my work area. I'll be able to stand up and show you different, uh, different types of tools. And we've got... I had to put it off until this next week until at least got my voice back a little bit. Anyway, hey, thanks for stopping inside my shop. Uh, if you find the video helpful, if you enjoyed it at all, uh, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Hope that I can help you out uh, in any of the adventures that I do with inside my shop here. Thanks, have a great day, and we'll talk at you later.